Award-winning ETV Soapy Scandal has responded to award-winning actress Nomvelo Makanya's shocking allegations against the show. Now, this actress who played Lindy Wangama recently took to social media to expose the alleged toxic work environment on Scandal. Yikes. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and, of course, the bell and you'll never miss an update. Mzansi, Nomvela, who has been with the show for almost a decade, left uh, Mzansi utterly astonished after revealing that the workplace was toxic. Now, uh, according to her, she would have even committed suicide. Now, this actress said she had been catching the smoke for leaving the show, but little did anyone know that she was written off. Initially, the actress said she was leaving the show for greener pastures, but has since backtracked her statement and made jaw-dropping revelations about her exit. Now, in a statement shared with Chis Alive, the show said it was unaware that the workplace was toxic up until she took that video. ETV Scandal Production was unaware that the workplace had been a toxic environment for the actor or any actor for that matter. As a production, we've always communicated an open door policy for all our cast and crew for any matter or situation, whether it is professional or personal. To our knowledge, as a production, we've had a great run of 10 years with the actor Nomvelo Makanya, and we appreciate the work she put in on her character as Lindiwe Masekongema. Now, the exit of the Lindiwe Masekongema character was purely dictated by the story. The character had run its cause on the show, and therefore, as the producers and writing team of the show, we ended the character journey to a allow us opportunities to explore other avenues as storytellers. Now, ending characters has always been a sweet for us as production, especially with an actor like Nomvelo Makanya, because she grows up in the show, but it also gives us the opportunity for new stories for the future and new opportunities for remaining cast members, read the statement. Makanya also added that she had been praying to leave Scandal, and God made it possible for her. It was God's plan, though. Uh, I'm going to tell you that for real, because I I have been praying, but it wasn't my choice. But if you can understand those two things, that choice, I have been wanting to leave. I have been wanting to leave that place. For me, it was something I have been praying about. When it finally happened, it really, really felt like God was removing me from that toxic, toxic environment, said Makanya. Now, the actress said she nearly would have ended her life due to toxic, to work toxic the work environment was and said she would not be going back to a soapy anytime soon. Um, and I'm sure I probably would have killed myself. I probably, uh, there was an 80 90% chance that's how toxic that place was, said Novella Makanya. I'm definitely not looking to be going into any soapy anytime soon. I want to explore other things, and being on a soapy won't give me the time to do what I want, but also if it's part of God's plan for me to be on a soapy i'd probably stay for six to twelve months said um, um 12 months max said makanya now that you have it mzansi um uh, scandal is uh no denying all of that and saying that they didn't know that that is how she felt and that they ended the character because it had run its course but in other wo uh, words she's saying that nah, mm, they actually um you know cut my, my character because uh it was written off because that place is toxic toxic and I could have committed suicide and I thank God that I'm out of there. Let me know your thoughts and Zanti in the comment section. You know, I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot. Just the way you like and it. I feel like things are cool. Man, Jang, man, dad. That I've been the one that's been catching all the fucking smoke with these people. Like, ah, oh, she left the job. It, it wasn't me, guys. It wasn't my choice. In church. They wrote me off. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. Like, actually, like, I'm so, like, I realized, like, I was thinking about it, actually, the other day. And I was like, actually, fuck it. I'm so tired of, of it being me. Like, I'm the one that's catching all the smoke. I'm the one, like, oh, why did you, why did you? It wasn't me. It wasn't my choice. <laughs> was God's plan, though. I'm going to tell you that for real. Because <laughs> I've been brain. <laughs> but it wasn't my choice. If you can understand those two things, then then you show your drink, man. You would see choice. Make me say, um, buzz. He sends us some cool, 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 c
I've been wanting to leave. <laughs> been wanting to leave that place. Yes, says you. Yeah. Yeah. Yombelo Aski say, it's not a thing, guys. It's really not a thing. Like, Joe, I guess for me, it was something I had been praying about. So when it finally happened, it really felt like God was really removing me from that toxic, toxic environment. I'm sure I'm going to put my books in. I probably would have killed myself. Probably. Like, there was um, an 80, 90% chance. That's how toxic that place was. <laughs> it wasn't nice. It definitely wasn't nice.